How's it go, Mama Lamas? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Ali for short, of course. Um, so today is a very exciting video for one reason and one reason only. Wicked Whims. Literally not kidding either. Like Wicked Whims is probably one of my like favorite mods that I've ever, ever played with. And the only reason that I don't play with it now is just because, you know, I <laughs> I know I have like base metal drugs and stuff like that in my game, but I just didn't want um, my Sims like woohooing autonomously like 24 seven. I know I can turn that off, but you know, your girl forgets. But the lovely Turbo Driver actually made a kind of version of Wicked Whims recently called wonderful whims which i love that <laughs> i love the play on words um that's a little bit more like it's a little more pg-13 okay so you're not having like your sims autonomously woohoo or you don't have to install a separate mod in order for your sims to become pixelated if they do um have you know <laughs> do the dirty but this mod kind of pushes that aspect out of the way and focuses more on kind of the realistic realistic attractions and it has a a lot of different aspects that I'm really excited to show you guys about. Even some new ones that I didn't remember seeing um, in Wicked Whims. But before I show you guys kind of the gameplay um, in the game and the screenshots, let's go ahead and scroll down um, and read a little bit about this mod. So it says, what is Wonderful Whims? Wonderful Whims is a standalone mod that offers plenty of social relationship and pregnancy enhancements in forms of attractiveness, impression, personality archetypes, menstrual cycle, birth control, and many more. So you want your sims to have a fully featured menstrual cycle or use birth control for woohoo. Maybe you want them to be attracted to certain things or recognize personality. Try wonderful whims. So new custom interactions, custom mechanics, custom skills, traits, moodlets, objects, story progression, and enhancements to existing gameplay. So let's go ahead and look at the relationship features. Um, I'm not going to go into the detail feature summaries here but you guys can definitely check those out if you want to I will have this whole website linked down in the description below um, so we do have attractiveness uh, live in a world where every sim has their own style and preferences that affect everybody else refine your own style and define your own preferences encounter storytelling situations which you know me I freaking love storytelling that make your sims heartbeat faster that's cute uh, learn what others are into and try to impress them with your looks um, and the ability to disable attractiveness in settings. So if you don't want this attractiveness parts or aspect of the mod, you can disable it, which I always love in mods that they let you um, disable some of the aspects. Um, but we do have impressions and personality. So this is kind of similar to um, the old like Wicked Whims, not old, but the way Wicked Whims does um, impressions and personality. So I remember like my Sims would see a person, they my Sims would see a person they thought was really attractive and they would get this super cool moodlet but it says learn sims personality archetypes and share your unique view on the world use your new special social interactions to voice your personality preference fake your personality to make others like you more or risk looking like a poser and the ability to also disable impressions in settings so actually i don't remember being able to fake your personality to impress people so <laughs> that is really awesome that's a cool aspect um, persistent boredom sims remember their conversations for eight hours and will react in boredom if talked to about the same topics. Okay, that's really interesting um, because, sorry I keep going off on a tangent, but I remember in The Sims 3, if you kept talking over and over about the same topics or like doing the same interactions, the other person would get bored and kind of react negatively. So that's really cool. Um, and the ability to disable that. Um, minor additions, we have the ability to have multiple romantic, non-committed, and committed partners with the open relationship settings, so you do not need a complete separate mod for open relationships. You have the ability to disable jealousy um, on individual sims with the polyamorous wonderful attribute, ability to disable jealousy for all sims, um, ability to ask multiple sims at once to stay the night, which is cool, so you could have like a little bit of a sleepover, um, and gender preference commands to change sims population preferences. All right, so we do have a little bit more to go through, not that much, I'm gonna kinda speed through it, not not too bad, um, but we do have a menstrual cycle in Wicked Whims, which we already did have, and I'm pretty sure this mod has kind of the same 
same concept. I'm not sure if it changes, so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so watch Sims experience the magic of a fully featured menstrual cycle with hormonal effects, periods, and variable fertility. So you can purchase tampons and pads. Um, what else? Extra absorbency is actually in the reward store tra traits um, to improve the absorbency of tampons and pads, which is so sick. Um, girl, I feel ya. I, I do be needing that sometimes. Um, learn about your fertility by purchasing fertility awareness tests. So um, that was available in Wicked Whims. Um, and consider going through the fertility treatment services. So yes, that was also available in Wicked Whims. Um, pregnancy scientific donation. Sims can decide to donate their unborn baby to science during the first or second trimester via phone. Okay, I don't remember that being a thing. That's interesting. Um, so miscarriage sims can experience a miscarriage um, from abusing substances, especially with base metal mods. If you have um, base metal drugs in your game, that can definitely happen. Uh, minor additions, ability to modify the entire pregnancy duration. Um, Sim's pregnancy test doesn't always result in negative moodlets unless Sim has the family-oriented trait. Um, and Sims leave a puddle when their water breaks. Alrighty, cool. So I actually like the part where um, Sims' pregnancy tests don't always result in negative moodlets. Um, sometimes people are just really excited that they're not having a baby right now, and that's totally okay. But um, for Woohoo, we have enable pregnancy for all Woohoo interactions and disables the try for baby interactions, the ability to bring back try for baby interactions in settings. Alrighty, so birth control. Um, there is another detailed feature summary if you want to check that out, but you can avoid getting pregnant by purchasing condoms or birth control pills, um, just like Wicked Whims, fully compatible and functioning with Woohoo and try for baby. Um, so you do not have to have that other separate interaction with Wicked Whims. You can just do the regular old Woohoo and try for baby. Um, the ability to disable birth control usage if you would like, um, and the compatibility with the Woohoo Wellness and Pregnancy Overhaul mod by Lumpenow. So if you do have that mod, um, this works with that as well. Crabs and STDs. Okay. Um, I think it's just crabs. Actually, I don't think there's any more STDs, but Sims can actually catch crabs through Woohoo with infected Sims or sleeping in infested beds. So this was a lot like Wicked Whims too. Um, they slowly experience the process of catching crabs through multiple moodlet stages. Um, special lice killing shampoo is available. Um, special crabs immune satisfaction reward store trait. Um, ability to ask other sims about their health, which is very, very important, and the ability to disable the crabs in settings. Wonderful attributes, add and remove minor traits without cast or reward store, which is sick. I hate having to go into cast to remove um, some minor traits, um, but it does have some minor game bug fixes, so random clothes on bathing outfit fix, which I freaking hate. I hate when my sims wear their, like, everyday outfits to the bath. I'm like, what are you doing, sis? Um, ASM states error suppression. I'm not sure what that means. Um, missing proximity buff error suppression. Missing random outfit error suppression. Incorrect mixer death reaction fix. I don't know what that means. Um, if you guys do, uh, whoop de doo uh, let me know, but I, I'm, I'm sure those are all very, very good things. Um, but requirements, so no additional mods are required but you are required to be fabulous. Turbo Driver wants you to be a fabulous person, okay? So no unfabulous people can get this mod. I'm sorry. There is no known conflicts at the moment. Um, obviously, there might be some in the future with these new mods that are coming out recently. Um, so just if you have any bugs, go ahead and let Turbo Driver know. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screenshots here. So let's see. What is this? Dreams of the Heart. It's dreams like this that Mortimer never wants to wake up from in it there is but one focal point one element that pervades all thoughts within his mind and that is Bella Goth. Um, such a wondrous manifestation has Mortimer utterly enthralled as he abandons all other thoughts in order to contemplate Bella's every feature every contour and nuance of her body and every discernible detail that makes this breathtaking sim unique. Oh honka honka Bernie love from dreaming about spouse. Oh my gosh. Okay so I don't remember seeing um this like moodlet or this dream thing 
from Wicked Whims. I, I totally have no idea. I haven't had it installed in a little bit, um, but that's really cool. I'm pretty sure that's a new um, aspect of the mod, so that's really cute. Um, but we do have the attractiveness alert, a breathtaking encounter from seeing an attractive sim. So this is pretty much just like what Wicked Whims has, um, but it says Diego's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered his view. Um, this fine specimen of a sim now has Diego's undivided attention as they try to pick their jaw up off the floor. There are heart pounding moments, but this one here is heart stopping. <laughs> That's so cute. So yeah, this is pretty much the same. It looks like as uh, Wicked Whims, but actually we have preferred colors right here as well. Um, so we can choose our liked colors and our disliked colors. Pretty sick. Um, That's very realistic. I know a lot of people have um, favorite colors. What else? So so yes, this is pretty much the same again as Wicked Whims, depending on what kind of um, character trait your sim has, so like their personality, which Wicked Whims will decide for you. You can kind of talk about the different things that pertain to your um, reward trait. So if you were an artist, for example, can mention creative visions. Um, what else? So instead of purchasing um, SEX items uh, from Wicked Whims, it's instead purchase wonderful items. So like I said, a little bit more PG-13 if you're not into um, the other stuff, but it's just the same things, you know, tampons, pads, condoms, um, and birth control pills. So there you go. Um, so yeah, Rodrigo Mendez used a condom, so you always want to use those. You know, it's kind of important. We don't want no unwanted pregnancy. But yes, those were all of the screenshots. So I'm very excited about this mod, especially because um, I didn't want to install Wicked Whims with all of those, you know, aspects in it. I just kind of wanted a family friendly, not really family friendly, but like a more, like I said, PG-13 kind of version. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in game and then I'll show you guys what this mod is all about. All right, guys. So I did want to kind of mention that the personality system from um, Wicked Whims is pretty much the same as Wonderful Whims. So your sim will get an automatic trait right here, um, kind of pertaining to what their like usual traits are. Um, so for example, Miss, what's her name? I forgot. <laughs> Eileen is a music lover, cheerful and creative. So she does have the artist and innocent traits. So here it says artist, artists and strive to create things of enduring value and achieve their vision. In many cases, however, the fear of not being exceptional prevents their growth. Um, for innocent, innocent sims, uh, positivity and happiness has a great power to uplift others, but they can appear very childish and their optimistic perspective causes them to be too naive. And then for Mr. Sebastian here, it does say he is an artist as well, but he's also greedy. So greedy sims focus on generating as much revenue as possible and saving as much capital as possible, no matter the consequences. But their stingy approach to reality makes them appear selfish, envious, and villainous. So yes, that is an aspect of both Wicked Whims and Wonderful Whims. But I did want to kind of check out what we can do on the computer. Um, so if we click on it, we can go to Wonderful so instead of wicked it will just be a little bit of a heart that's wonderful and then purchase wonderful items so we do have the lice killing shampoo pads tampons um, tampons and pads birth control condoms and chill pills so let's purchase um, some birth control some condoms and some tampons so we're gonna go ahead and purchase that and it says thanks for ordering the wonderful items Sebastian purchased will be delivered to his mailbox so it'll only be a couple hours or even like a day before um, the items come into our mailbox, which is totally fine. But I did want to kind of check out the aspect to where if we keep talking about the same thing over and over, which, what is this? Okay, the website said if we keep saying the same thing, um, that the boring, or we'll get like a boring moodlet. Um, so let's just ask about children multiple times and see what happens. All right, so we did get a boring moodlet from the boring discussion. Um, so it says from socialization, bored by a dull discussion. So actually this will have consequences now if you keep talking to um, different sims over and over again with the same interactions, they will get bored. And I actually did see a like red negative person come up here. So I guess their relationship kind of went down a little bit, but not too much. Um, so it's totally fine. But if we click on Mr. Sebastian and go to wonderful, we can do personalization, wonderful attributes. Um, and we can actually give him a wonderful attribute. So we actually have 
have hypofertile. Um, Sims with hypofertility have significant difficulties conceiving a child. So that does add um, a lot of realism because a lot of people do have those problems. So that's definitely a good way to promote that kind of diversity in your game. Um, aversive appearance. Sims with aversive appearance will find it harder to attract others. And most eyes that look upon them will have a generally negative disposition towards um, their their appearance. Sorry, <laughs> my throat is like going downhill right now. But it says um, for this one, attractive, ambivalent, attractiveness, ambivalent Sims are not at all interested in others' looks. So you can maybe use this trait to maybe make in a sexual Sim. That's kind of an idea. Um, and then polyamorous. Polyamorous Sims are open to having multiple romantic relationships and don't get jealous about their loved ones having more than one partner. So that is really cool. So I'm assuming with the hypo fertile trait, your Sim will probably have a hard time Time do have kids despite trying for babies multiple times. So for time's sake, I'm not going to choose any of these attributes, but this is pretty much the effects of it. Um, I'm pretty sure if you choose the aversive appearance trait, other sims will just not like the way your sim looks at all. And then for polyamorous, you can have multiple romantic relationships. And um, if you're, one of your other partners is romantic with somebody else, your sim will not get jealous, which is a huge bonus. But if we click on Sebastian, in here and go to attractiveness and do select preferences and then select his preferences we still have all of these different um, traits that we can choose for Sebastian to have a preference towards um, so we do have fundamental attractiveness traits so preferred sex appearance construct occult age um, voice type actually and voice depth so I'm not sure if that's a new thing um, voice type and voice depth but that is very interesting um, hair attractiveness, so like eyebrows, facial hair, and hair, how long it is, and whatnot. Uh, details attractiveness traits, so eye color, teeth color, skin detail, and skin color archetype. Um, we do have body attractiveness traits, so body weight, body muscle, breast size, hips wideness, butt size, and thigh thickness. Um, outfit attractiveness traits, so if we click this one and we go to preferred color, we can actually choose um, Sebastian's preferred color, so his favorite color. So let's go ahead and say um, that he doesn't like yellow, pink, white, or green. Um, his favorite colors are red and blue, and he hates the color orange and green. So there we go. You can do outfit style, so generic rocker country, hipster boho. If we go into like hair, for example, we can do preferred hair length, hair type, um, and facial hair style even. So it's just a bunch of different traits um, that really adds to your Sims personality and the uniqueness that they hold because not all of us like the same things. And it is really realistic for a lot of us to have preferences um, and when it comes to who we are attracted to. So a that's really sick but y'all I'm really sorry I did get kind of <laughs> impatient and didn't want to wait for all of our items to arrive in the mail so I did go ahead and go into build mode um, or buy mode and I went ahead and bought these things now everything that is on the um, what's it called the wonderful items store here on the computer you can purchase in build mode I believe so I did get the condoms the tampons and the birth control so let's give um, Miss Eileen the birth control the tampons and then let's give Benjamin the condoms. So this is pretty much exactly the same as Wicked Whims when it comes to um, preventative measures to not get pregnant. Um, it doesn't look like she has started her period yet but I do know um, if you keep playing for a while your sim will have a regular menstrual cycle so that might not appear um, in this video but trust me it does happen and I love it. You do get a lot of different um, like realistic moves lids and buffs cravings and stuff like that it is really realistic but let's go ahead and unpack the birth control box and we do get um 28 packs of the pills um so she is allowed to take the birth control autonomously um but you can also disallow it as well so let's go ahead and take the pill and no we don't want to do the welcome wagon right now sorry um but looks like she did take the pill and she did get a moodlet that said early on birth control pill Eileen is on her birth control. It takes three days before birth control pills take full effect. So let's go ahead and have him unpack the condoms. 
and then um, it looks like he's going to automatically use it if they were to woohoo. So let's just go ahead and have them woohoo right now. And let me just tell you, they are seriously a freaking beautiful couple. Like I made them in only like five seconds, but I'm kind of proud, not gonna lie. So they're just gonna woohoo right now. And it does say that Sebastian Lake did use a condom, so they will not have an unexpected pregnancy. And he does get um, a moodlet right here that says um, wearing a condom as well. So obviously I'm not going to be able to cover all of these stuff like miscarriage or um, like periods and stuff like that but go ahead and download the mod for yourselves it's just like wicked whims it has a little bit more um, different moodlets and stuff like that but it does add a lot to your game I seriously love wicked whims so the fact that it's now like a pg-13 version makes me very very excited but like the mod the sims website said um, sometimes they will get a little bit of a moodlet that says they had a dream about their partner which I thought was super cute um, but it looks like he's not getting it which is totally fine it's kind of just a by chance kind of deal but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the mod review here so let me know what you guys think about it I'm honestly so glad that there's finally um, a more <laughs> relaxed version of Wicked Whims don't forget to leave a like on the video if you liked it and as always turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new upload don't forget to subscribe as well I love you guys bye